purple crew today. They're both wearing a purple hoodie. Yeah, they do look tired. <laughs> got in, we did the early entry for resort guests so we were able to get in an hour earlier and the lady on the check-in desk at the hotel yesterday gave us a tip to go straight to Hagrid because we actually, because we're only here for maybe one or two days, um, we have express passes, we bought express passes so um, she said to us Hagrid's Motorbike Adventures, I'm not sure if that's the exact name, doesn't have express pass, you can't use express pass on it so they said to us, she said to us yesterday to go straight there so we did and the queue was two hours long 120 minutes, it, but it actually was okay. Yeah, it was like, uh, like an hour and 25 minutes. And I think it was even less, maybe like an hour and 10 in the end, so that yeah. wasn't too bad. And then it was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. It was so I 100% recommend queuing for it. I won't tell you the twist, but you go on a little motorbike, it's really good theming, and it really accelerates. Yeah. Um, but we won't say what the other twist is, but it's really, really there's, good fun. There's two twists that we won't say. Yeah, but the acceleration part is so fun. And yeah. now um, the others are in Honeydew, because Lottie doesn't want anything from there. Mad Maddie's uh, using her Christmas money to buy something. And then we're going to go on another ride, I think. Oh no, we're going to get some butter beer first. Yeah. So Mads used her like Christmas money that we made into dollars for her to buy this. It's going to melt, you need to be careful. Are you going to eat it now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> and Ren bought some candy floss. John's trying butter beer, what's it like? Really good. Really good. I don't even know what's in it. Good. Try some, Mads. We got a frozen one. Yeah, we got a frozen one. I Nice. windy and also we're right by the Hulk ride which keeps spraying out really noisy mist and also everybody's screaming but I've just become the coolest mum ever because I went on the Hulk roller coaster I would say that I haven't been on all the scary rides at Universal at all but I would say this is probably just from like reading and like watching stuff and seeing I would say this is probably the most iconic and like scary roller coaster at Universal there's so many twists and like upside down loops and inversions I think they're called um, and it's really good so now the kids think I'm the coolest mum ever and I'm a daredevil and John wasn't going to go on it but I came back and he was like I'm going to go on it as well because I think he wants to be as cool as me. <laughs> on the Hogwarts Express to get to the next park to get to Universal Studios. We've been in Islands of Adventure and we're park hopping via the Hogwarts Express to Universal Studios. Look at that. Let's go wow. All the kids have been going on about all holiday is getting one of these. So these are a giant Simpsons donut, am I right? Yeah. And they have honestly been so excited about this, haven't you? Yeah. Does it live up to your expectations? Yeah. Is it big? It looks exactly like it. <laughs> it's very sticky. We're gonna go and need to wash our hands. Dig in now. What's it like? Nice. Really good. You've got it all over your nose, your sunglasses, your lips. 
We're currently in Moe's Bar of the Simpsons. We're in the Simpsons part of Universal Studios. It's so cool. The theming is amazing. Like, I'm not particularly a Simpsons fan. The kids love the Simpsons movie. We thought the other two were a bit young to watch the Simpsons episodes. Maddie watches them. But they've been so excited to come here. This is probably the part of Universal they've been most excited to see. So we've queued up for some lunch and we're currently sat in Moe's Bar. This is probably the busiest part that we've been in in terms of um, it's the longest queue we've had was for lunch but it's really cool because it's like a little food court but it's all themed on the Simpsons so there's different little mini restaurants and they're all filmed on the Simpsons or themed on the Simpsons rather so it's very cool. Action! I'm the only one in the family that could get one of these. They don't have any Johns, Wrens, Maddies or Lotties but they do have Katie's. believe how much I'm vlogging in public. It's really hard though, it has been really busy in Universal today. Not like busy, like over busy or anything like that, but it's really hard to film because obviously I don't want to get loads and loads of people in my videos. But we have had the best day, I'm sure I'll fill you in later, but we've been on so many different rides, haven't we? And now we're going to go to the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium because we've heard they do amazing milkshakes and I've also heard that they do creme brulee, which is like my favourite pudding in the world. So we're going to go and check that out. But yeah, it's just been the best day. We've had so much fun, haven't we? Yep. The sun's setting. I feel we've like been, been in the park all day, haven't I feel we? Like it's been two days. Huh? Yeah, no, it's just been amazing. It's been so much fun. And I'm sure I'll fill you in later. Look at this. This is a confetti birthday cake milkshake. How amazing does this look? So we've got one to share between five of us because it is big. And we've had a lot of like sweet treats today but how amazing does that look dig in is it nice yeah what's the icing like it's good. i've got a creme brulee to myself <laughs> they're all sharing a milkshake and i've got a creme brulee which like is my absolute favorite if there's ever creme brulee on the menu i just have to get it look how pretty it looks down there we've just got home and lots of people are still swimming in the pool i think one day we might have to have a little nighttime swim I think it's open till like 10 o'clock or something. We've got the country music blaring. A little known fact, we actually all love a little bit of country music, mainly me. Um, I even do sometimes listen to it at home. Just love a little bit of country. Couldn't tell you one singer. Garth Brooks. Who? <laughs> but yeah. Whenever we come to America, we have to listen to country music. <laughs> I've just thought of one. Tim McGraw, he's country, isn't he? They all kind of sound the same. We found what we're looking for, and what we're looking for is Dick's. Dick's Sporting Goods. Did you think you'd come to Florida and go to Dick's? Mm, no, I didn't think I'd be searching for one. <laughs> we've decided to come on a little adventure out because we weren't ready for our day to be finished. So we've jumped in the car and we're going to go and just do a little bit of like exploring at the mall. Like I really want to go to um, Bath and Body Works. I always love Bath and Body Works getting the candles. And then Maddie would like to go to a super target and pick up or target or whatever and pick up some snacks. Um, and there's just a couple of other places we wanted to go. We're just going to have a little explore basically because I feel like it's too like early to go to bed. Um, and also we just thought it would be nice to have a little explore go in the car and have a drive around and just generally uh, see where the night takes us. So we went into Dick's because I really wanted a Stanley Cup. I don't know if anybody else knows what that is. If you do, it's probably because you watch TikTok or Instagram or whatever, but basically these Stanley Cups are these massive like water cups with a straw and Two I just pints. really wanted one, huh? Two, Two pints, pints of water and I said to my sister, I will look for one for both of us while I'm in America. And anyway, we went in there and I was too embarrassed to ask. I made John ask. But to be fair, you actually did ask John, didn't you? John doesn't normally ask things, like he doesn't like to directions. like, yeah, he do doesn't directions. like, he doesn't do directions, he doesn't ask for things, but I was too embarrassed to ask. I was like, you don't really look like a sort of man that watches TikTok so he can ask. But anyway, he asked and the guy said, what did he say? Uh, he said, no, he said, he puts them out. The no, he said, what, are you after the 40? Yeah, after the 40 ounce. 
Uh, he said, I said, yeah, and he said, uh, every time I put them out, they last two days. Every time they put them out on the shelves, they last two days. So it's obviously not just me that's uh, that's heading into Dick's looking for uh, the Stanley Cups. No. So now we're going to go to the mall. But I am not going to rest. I am still going to try and find a Stanley Cup this holiday. I don't think I'm going to be in luck. I thought you can't get them in the UK. One, one yeah, there's more than one Dick's. Yeah. The, yeah, I think there's definitely more than one Dick's in Orlando. Um, I thought that perhaps like the Americans would be sort of over the Stanley Cups and therefore I could swoop in and there'd be a huge selection but sadly not seems like everybody wants a Stanley Cup just in case you're still interested in the Stanley Cup update I did a little Google while we were in the car driving to the mall we're at the Mall of Millennia by the way which is a really good mall in Orlando and the Stanley Cups is not looking likely I don't think I'm going to be successful so sorry to my sister as well but it looks like they're sold out absolutely everywhere <laughs> This one would look cool in your room, Mads. Look at this one. Look at these strawberries. Look at them. I've seen those everywhere. How cool are these? We're back now, and everybody's just having a little bit of a chill out before bed. It's, uh, we've had lots of late nights, it's about half past nine now. And this is probably one of the earliest nights we've had, isn't it? Everybody's very tired, but still running on holiday excitement and adrenaline. We have had such a good day today. Universal was amazing. I feel like we got loads done, didn't we? I feel like we literally went on so many different rides. I really recommend the Express Pass if you um, want to get them because they are like, there's only like a couple of things that you can't use them for. But I think my favourite ride of the day, there's two for me, was Hagrid. Um, Hagrid's Motorcycles, that is one of the ones that you can't use the Express Pass on. But we went there first and it did say an 120 minute wait, but actually it was about an hour and five maybe. Yeah, something like there. that. And it fluctuated throughout the day. So that was definitely a firm favourite for all four of us that went on it. Um, and then I just love the Hulk. I love all the scary rides, so I really enjoyed that one. Um, you liked that as well, John, didn't you? Good, yeah. Um, I would have liked to have gone on the Jurassic Park Velocicoaster, I think it's called, but um, we didn't get a chance to do that one just because, again, that was one of the ones that didn't have the Express Pass, and I just felt like we couldn't go on too many like roller coasters just for the adults. Not really very fair, but we went on so many. We went on Cat on the Hat, um, Cat in the Hat rather, Fast and Furious. Um, the Mummy, Sim the kids loved The Simpsons, like I said, even though like two of them don't even watch The Simpsons, they just love The Simpsons ride. You watch The Simpsons movie, yeah. Um, and then, what else? Just so many different things. Too many to mention. Um, it was really good in there. I feel like I haven't filmed loads today just because, you know, the parks are so busy and stuff, it's hard to film in there. But it was so good. Then we went to the mall, we went to Bath and Body Works. I used to love a Bath and Body Works candle. I used to always pick some up. But firstly, they're quite expensive. Secondly, I think they do them in like next, in some nexts in the UK. So they're not as like special and exciting anymore. And thirdly, I've got a little bit more into like essential oils and stuff. But I still picked up one candle. I would show you, but I don't know where it is. I think I left it in the car actually. Um, oh, I don't need to get it. It was the Happy Easter one. I think I filmed it. I'll insert it into the footage, but I just liked it because it, firstly it smelled nice and secondly it was quite cute. So I'm gonna put it in my office. And then we, oh, something quite like interesting. I mean, this is probably not, if I've got any Americans watching, they're probably gonna be like, this isn't interesting at all. But while we were in Bath and Body Works, all of a sudden this alarm went off and then everybody's phone like vibrated and made a noise didn't it yeah. um, and it was a bit like well because like obviously everybody's got a phone like in the whole shop and everybody's phone was going off even the cashier was like oh what was that because um, we were paying at the time and basically it was an amber alert for kidnapping which is horrific like that's not a nice thing to happen at all um, we looked at it it's actually a sort of domestic kidnapping rather than like a stranger kidnapping but anyway still absolutely awful but we were just like fascinated weren't we we said to the cashier does that happen often and she was like not not really often but like um you know we are all aware of it but that was quite like 
we don't obviously have anything like that in the UK, do we? So we were like, whoa. Um, and then we went to Target because the kids always love to pick up American snacks. And now I need to go because I'm just rabbiting on and we're all really tired. We need to go to bed. Got another exciting day tomorrow. We're going to Volcano Bay. Careful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and hope you're enjoying my little daily Orlando vlogs. I'm really enjoying filming them. I know when I get home, I'm going to really enjoy editing them as well because I love editing travel vlogs, but different to my usual style, just because I'm having to like be a bit more like just pick up the camera here and there because like the parks are really busy and stuff like less of my like little arty ones I do and more just pick up the camera and hope you're enjoying them anyway I'm enjoying making them so I'm gonna go now because I'm tired and I'm just speaking rubbish now um, but I will see you for the next one bye <laughs>